Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a um, 3D bottle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pen tool and draw a shape along the contours of this reference image that I have in Photoshop. And I'm going to close it. So uh, you only have to draw it one side of it. We can just close it like that. After the pen tool, we can use the direct selection tool to correct the path that you have and you can modify them if you require. So once we have this shape ready, I'm going to draw another shape for the cap. So we can trace the cap using the pen tool, just like how did we did one side of the uh, bottle. We're going to use the pen tool to trace the cap. Now after the, the drawings have been made, we can select the first layer, which is the bottle trace. We can go to 3D and click new 3D extrusion from the selected path. It's going to extrude it, but it's not the right extrusion. So we're going to go to the properties. We're going to change the extrusion preset to cylindrical from here. We can also reduce the extrusion depth if you want the radius of the bottle to be lesser. So we can do the same thing for the cap, go to 3D, select new 3D extrusion from the path. And we now have the scene. We can now go to 3D and choose export a 3D layer to share this model that we just made out of Photoshop. So we can choose wavefront OBJ file and click OK to export the model that we just made into our desktop. So I'm saving it in a folder called bottle. Now the file is saved. Now I'm going to open for the second part of this video, I'm going to open Adobe Dimension. So we are in Dimension right now and we can click create new to build a new scene. So we're going to go here, go to go to files and click on import and click 3D model and choose the bottle model that we just exported out of Photoshop. Uh, you can click on this button to center our model. We can now see the 3D model in Dimension. And we can go to the materials on our left panel and we can choose materials and drag and drop it to each one of these sections that we have and the material will immediately be applied to um, the objects. So in this case, I've applied a metallic texture to the cap and I'm going to apply a frosted glass effect on to the bottle. So we have both of this right now. We can go to the lighting panel and choose the appropriate lighting that is required for the scene. We can now go to the background image and choose an image to set it at the background. So to match the perspective, you can click on the match image button. We don't need to match the lights. So I'm going to turn off the lights and click OK to match our model with the image that we have. You can click on this button to view a quick preview of the render. Now, if you're happy with the quality, you can now go to the render button and you can give your file name change your quality if you want but I'm going to render this at low and we are exporting this as PST. So once the rendering is complete you will have a PST file like this. Let's open that PST file in Photoshop and we have it. So you can see all the layers that is exported from Dimension. We can see every individual layer. So let's look out for logo and then take that logo. Let's drag it to our composition. And go to adjustments, invert it so that I can apply a multiply blending mode and sort of blends with the bottle. I'm going to adjust the levels a little bit and that's it, right? So you have a custom bottle that is designed out of Photoshop. We texted it in dimension and uh, we finished that in Photoshop. So I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial. Um, if you liked it, subscribe and like the video and um, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Take care.